Hi everybody, it's Faith from Paris Santero. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're throwing down cards for Capricorn for the second part of May. I apologize for the delay. It's been a very, very rough few days. So, yeah, I, I'm getting up what I can at this point. Um, it was raining for like, I don't know, like a day and a half, almost two straight days. And my body just ached. And I was tired and then the sun came out and now I have one of my stupid popcorn migraines it's I don't know I should probably see a doctor about it but who the hell has time for that anyway we're not talking about me Capricorn we're talking about you this reading will be for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus for the last part of May if it resonates with you cool it's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all it is your journey not mine I just read the cards if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Capricorn. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. may even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And if you're a cross-watcher in here, peeking in on Capricorn, you're welcome here too. Also, if this reading doesn't resonate, you can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings. They may resonate a little bit better for you. Okay, one more shuffle, and we'll pop the cards for Capricorn and get them on the table. Capricorn, you have the Alchemist in Reverse. It's also the Magician card. So, Puppet Strings, Puppet Strings. Somebody's a Puppet Master. There could be some manipulation going on here. I don't know on whose part. Or it could mean something just isn't quite manifesting, you know, take it however resonates. Let's see what else comes out in the cards. Okay. <sighs> How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Anti confrontational? I'm hearing you don't want to fight with them. You're avoiding an argument, possibly, maybe. It's the Five of Wands in reverse. What you think of them is the Ace of Wands in the upright, so... Constantly on to something new. New passions. Always striking the match when it's hot. You could be dealing with a fire sign. I got a lot of fire on this board right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. A little bit of air. I got Gemini, Cancer. Wow. Capricorn, I have a funny feeling you may well be dealing with a fire sign. I got Aries. I got Leo. Fire, fire, fire. What you want from them is the lovers. So, at the very least, acknowledgement of the connection that you guys have. You want the relationship to be acknowledged. You want that, that strong mutual connection. How they feel about you is the chair reverse. They, they feel like you're distant. 
Like you're distancing yourself from them. What they think of you is strength. Hmm. Huh. How docile is the lion at the maiden's touch? It's almost like she's got him wrapped around her little finger. Like puppet strings. Huh. What they want from you is the Emperor in Reverse. The Emperor in Reverse isn't the strong, bull-headed son of a bitch represented by this guy. He's the exact opposite. He's docile. He's vulnerable. He's easygoing. <clears throat> he doesn't try to control the flow. He just goes with it. Hmm... That's extremely interesting. Avoiding an argument. Obstacle, the Queen of Wands. Oh, she loves to get her way, doesn't she? She does. She's going to thump you with that stick if she doesn't. But at the same time, she's compassionate. But she knows what's up because she's highly intuitive. She's the mom you don't want to mess with. She's real cool until you push the wrong button. And she's not so cool, is she? All right, hold on. We're going we're gonna to throw some clarity on the board. Not with this deck, though. What the hell am I doing? Oh, my God. Super tired. All right. Tuesday's supposed to be chill day. I was supposed to be resting today, but I couldn't get cards read at all most of the weekend. So I got to play catch up today, tonight, and tomorrow. Ugh. It's fine. I'll be okay. Five of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Wands. Don't have to clarify these. I'll clarify the rest of them though. What's five wands reversed here? Okay, that's fine. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Just fly right out of the deck, see if I care. You're anti con they feel you feel like they're anti confrontational, but you feel like they're clingy and needy at the same time. Or they make you feel needed? One more. Codependent. King of Cups reversed. Emotionally closed off. Okay. The, 
they feel like the connection isn't love based. Or you feel like the connection isn't love based. Like they try to avoid arguments because they want you to think that is messed up. Wow. This this isn't a love connection. This is a need connection. It's the difference between you're here because I want you here, not because I need you here. You're there because they need you there. That's how you feel. You're not wanted, you're needed. That's Powerful. Holy crap. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Eight of Pentacles reversed. They don't do anything for too long. They don't put enough work into anything to make anything meaningful or worthwhile. It's like, strike the match, strike the match, and it goes out as quick as it came, you know, as it struck. I think that's why they need you all the time. One more. Okay, I'll take a twofer. Queen of Cups reversed and the Eight of Swords in the upright. Okay. You think they're a bit of a worry wart? And again, it's it's lack of compassion. It's it's not a love thing. I'm just it's not a love thing. They're constantly in a state of worry. It's very codependent, and there's no love here. What you want is love. That's what you want. You want the connection to be just as strong and just as mutual on both sides of it. Okay. Why is the chariot here? Let's chair it reversed here. Now I'm curious. Seven of Wands reversed. The chariot's out of control. It's being pulled in two different directions. It's coming apart. of Pentacles, you have something to offer them. You bring a little bit of stability and control into their out-of-control world. You keep their chariot from going off the rails, Capricorn. Why is strength here? Six of Cups in the upright and the King of Wands in the reverse. You two been kicking it for a while, possibly. Possibly over a course of lifetimes, but. They use it to their advantage. Where's the King of Wands reversed here?
ten of pentacles in the upright. Mm-hmm. Wow. The passion isn't there, but the stability is. They use you for stability. They need you for stability. Wow. Manipulation. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, okay, um... What they want from you, they want to keep you under their thumb. They don't want you to be in control. Because that messes up their little plan. Wow, oh my gosh. I almost don't want to post this, but I know somebody out there needs it. Holy Moses. Why is the Queen of Wands up right here for the challenge or obstacle of this connection? Come on. Somebody's getting snowed, hosed. The challenge here is the bullshit and the lies. The cloaking, the skewed perceptions. This little skewed perception card, you see that? See a little black kitty cat looking down into the river and there's a panther looking back up at it? Skewed perceptions. Oh, well, gee, look at that. It's the same little black cat that's sitting on Queen of Wands' lap. Oh, look, look at this, look at this deck. Look at this card. That kitty cat is putty in her hands. Wow. Can I get one more on that, please? Can I get one more on this Queen of Wands? Okay, I don't want five. We're not going to take five. Eight of Cups. The challenge is... Somebody walked away from this emotionally a long time ago and the other person hasn't figured it out yet. I don't know who walked away. Somebody is being manipulated and somebody is being very manipulative. You're not together because you want to be. You're together because you need to be. Because one or the other of you needs it. Wow. Well, what needs to be done is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is the I'm trapped card. Or you think you're trapped. Well, let's 
a little clarity on that. the card. It's the wand in the upright again. Striking new matches, new places. The Empress. Growth, expansion, family. Why the Empress? Queen of Wands reversed. Breaking free. Wow. Cutting that cord, cutting those ties, going off new things okay well this is someone you've been trying not to fight with for a while someone you obviously have some happy memories with But if the lackluster is not there anymore, I mean, it, it. wow, Capricorn, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. The outcome's the sun card. That's happiness. That's an everlasting connection. That's again, a soulmate. You know, just for kicks, can I get a get clarity on this lover's card, please? The Seven of Swords pops out. One more. The devil. Wow. That is a powerful connection, isn't it? You want you want the connection to be just as powerful for them as it is for you. And it's just not. And if not, you want to know why. My, my, my. I said I wasn't going to do it. Can I get clarity on the Emperor Reverse, please? Death. Death, rebirth, resurrection. The chubby little caterpillar going up into the cocoon and becoming a butterfly.
perhaps this is a situation where because someone couldn't be tamed and because the other person was manipulative. Capricorn, maybe you were the manipulative one. I don't like pointing fingers, but all things being vice versa and fluid. And the other person wants things to change and they're not changing. The other person just wants a change. The star. Healing. Positive flow. Positive flow where there hasn't been. You see, it's all about perception. One person's black hat is another person's panther. Some people see black cats as a bad omen. I had black cats growing up the... Ugh, sorry, I had black cats the entire time I was growing up. It wasn't a big deal. Some people absolutely won't allow them in their house. It's all about perception. Well, this is a turn table turner. The rebuilding of the tower. The sun comes up over the horizon like a phoenix rising up out of the ashes. And you're able to rebuild it. Someone perhaps just needs to break away from some old habits. Nine of Wands laying down the weapons. Rebuilding walls. Wow, guys. Capricorn, this has been one hell of a reading, let me tell you. Woo! But there's a ray of hope. There's a, there's, there's a ray of hope with this. If this is resonating with anybody, if it's making any sense to anyone, there is a ray of hope. I think someone perhaps has gotten to a stage in their relationship where they're just together for the sake of being together, and there's nothing there emotionally anymore. Like, at all. There's a chance to restrike that match. There's a chance to come back together. You just have to change your perception of things. It's evolution. It's the last stage of growth. Wow, gang. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Let's get your advice. The high priestess reversed and the three of wands reversed. Oh, wow. See if they make sense together.
don't wait for the connection to come back to you. You have to be the initiator. If something needs to be said, you have to say it. If something needs to be done, you have to do it. If you want to salvage this, you have to be the initiator. There is no victory in a battle not, not fought. There's no victory if you just throw in the towel. A forfeit is not a victory. Nobody won or lost there. You just threw the towel in the middle of the ring. The messages have to be mutual. And let you have to give love if you want to receive it. There's no sense in kicking over an empty cup, if you will. Why is my phone being blown up right now? My gosh. Really? Oh. <laughs> I think that means my time's up. That's in the God be with whoever is going through this right now. Okay. Five of Wands reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Let me... Eight of Swords reverse, Ten of Swords in the upright, Six of Swords in the upright, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Really? Now my now the Chromebook's going bong. Really? Three of Wands reverse popped up again. Okay. Don't wait for the communication. You have to be the one to initiate it. Okay, fine. Packing up and walking away isn't evening the score. It's not even anything out. Throwing in the towel isn't going to do you any good. And the sun's never going to come up again if you don't talk about it. If you just cut communication off, it again, that's not a victory. If you're going to put the end to the cycle, you have to dial direct. You have to talk about it. You have to talk through it. You have to work through it. Lay the weapons down. Don't fight. Don't fight about it. Be calm. Be rational. You can have a new start. if you want it. Sorry that took so long. I really had to work through that. My skull is pounding and I have two electronic devices making a lot of noise right now. 
Okay, Capricorn, you guys probably just earned yourself a bonus just like Sagittarius did because their reading didn't make too much sense either. But let me know if it resonates. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Um, I have to see what all the noise is about. So take care. We'll talk soon.